Hello everyone. Let's try to solve this question from the chapter Light, Reflection and Refraction. Let's go through the question and try to understand what is given in the question. After tracing the path of rays of light through a glass slab for three different angles of incidence, a student measured the corresponding values angle of refraction R and angle of emergence E and recorded them in the table given below. That means a student does an experiment where he is tracing the path of the light ray which is being allowed to pass through a glass slab. He basically incidents the incident ray at three different angle of incidence. That is first is 30 degree then 40 degree and then 50 degree. Then he measures the corresponding refracted angle and the uh, emergent angle and he then basically records them in the table. So the question is that the correct observations are which of them? That means we have to find that which of these observations are correct. So for a light ray passing through a glass lab, the following conditions should hold true. That, that is, the first condition is that the angle of incidence should be approximately equal to the angle of emergence and the angle of refraction should be less than angle of incidence. And the second condition is that as the angle of incidence increases, then the refracted angle also increases. So keeping these conditions in mind, let's try to see which of the following observations are correct. So the first observation is that angle of incidence is 30 and emergence is 31. That means they both are approximately equal and the angle of refraction is 20 degree which is less than the angle of incidence. So our first condition is satisfied. So now let's check for the second one. Here also the angle of incidence is equal to angle of emergence and the angle of refraction is less than the angle of incidence. So first condition is satisfied by this first and the second. Now let's check for the third option. Here we see the angle of incidence is now again approximately equal to the angle of emergence and the angle of refraction is also less than the angle of incidence. That means all the three basically satisfy the first condition. Now let's check for the second condition. The second condition says that as the angle of incidence increases, then the angle of reference also increases. That means with the increase in angle of incidence, angle of refraction also increases. So here 30 to 40 that means the angle of incidence is increased then we find that the angle of refraction also has increased. Now let's check for this one that here also we find that the angle is increased from 40 to 50 the angle of refraction also increases from 25 to 31 that means second condition is also satisfied by all the three cases that means all the three observations are correct that means our answer will be D.